Welcome to Glassbox Studios Horathon. Today we're talking about John Carpenter's The Thing from 1982. The movie is based on John Campbell's Who Goes There. It's about 12 men in Antarctica who discover a shape-shifting, assimilating alien. Thematically, it plays on paranoia, suspicion, isolation, and trust. As the film progresses, each man begins to suspect that the others might not be human. Radio's gone. So are the choppers. Yeah, we're completely cut off. All we can do now is... Hold up till spring, wait for the rescue team. No, we don't wait. Somebody in this camp ain't what he appears to be. Right now, that may be one or two of us. By spring, it could be all of us. The thing succeeds because of a grim mood, amazing special effects, which are still some of the greatest visuals to date. Fair warning, spoilers are ahead. If you haven't seen this film, go see it. These analog effects are products of Rob Bottin. Just prior to his work on The Thing, he had gained fame from his work on The Howling. His werewolf transformation scene rivaled that of his mentors, Rick Baker, who had worked on an American werewolf in London. As you know, today's special effects are usually done via CGI. However, Rob made shots that make you say, to the long, to the long. Effects like this were made from materials such as jello arms, wax bones, and rubber bands, and took upwards of 10 hours of prep time, and they still had to film this scene twice. The set was filled with buckets of KY jelly for that perfect slime effect. When I was a child, I can remember getting up out of bed and walking into the living room. My dad was watching this scene. Perfect timing, right? I was terrified. This scene is what draws me to this movie. It was just an early primal memory for me. If the thing has a flaw, it's that the effects are too good. They steal the show in some ways and take away from the spotlight from the actors. The movie was filmed in California, Alaska, and British Columbia. To achieve the correct look for the set in California, temperatures were dropped to below 40 degrees and by misting water on the set to raise humidity. As you know, it's not always about the visual. Music is what really sets the mood of a movie. The movie's main theme was created by Anil Morricone. It's a song that sends chills down your spine, so let's listen to it. This movie is filled up with characters, but to me, only three stand out. McCready, Childs, and Dr. Blair. Kurt Russell plays the lead as R.J. McCready, a helicopter pilot with a drinking problem. Stemming from his experiences in Vietnam, he's also seen as a reluctant leader. From his opening scene, we can see that he hates to lose and will do anything to win. From time to time, I can take issue with this scene, as it seems absurd, but it does establish his character. Shooting a bitch. T.K. Carter plays Childs, a man who gradually begins to stand in opposition of McCready. Childs stands out because of his disregard for authority, and to me it seems like his character begs to be the leader. Let's open it. Hell no. You think he's changed into one of those things? Is that why you are? Nothing human could have made it back here in this weather without a guideline. Let's open it now. Why are you so damn anxious to let him in here? Because it's so close. Maybe our best chance to blow it away. No. Just let him freeze to death outside. Childs, what if we wrong about him? Why then we're wrong? Dr. Blair, played by Wilford Brimley, gives us our information as to what's really going on, as he's the first to really understand the danger that the Thing presents. We're about to discuss the ending, but first let's talk about some smaller details. The Thing aired two weeks after the release of E.T. and wasn't received well, coupling this with the Thing's similarity to AIDS, which at the time was extremely scary and prolific, did not bode well for the movie, which had lackluster success. Now to the ending of the movie. Let's take a look. Fire's got the temperature up all over the camp. 
Won't last long, though. Neither will we. How will we make it? Maybe we should. If you're worried about me... If we've got any surprises for each other... I don't think we're in much shape to do anything about it. Why don't we just wait here for a little while? See what happens. So people have debated this ending for years, and here's my take. So the camp has been burned down, and the thing has seemingly been defeated. McCready seems to be the only survivor, until Childs appears. They both agree if one of them is the thing, they're not in a good position to really do anything about it. The key moment in my mind is when McCready hands Childs a drink, which Childs guzzles down. Now McCready knows that this creature can assimilate you even if a single cell enters your body. We know this because Fuchs tells him earlier in the film. And to me, the fact that Childs takes a drink tells me that he's the thing because he's hoping to infect McCready. But hold on, let's say McCready's the thing. Maybe he laughs because he has just infected Childs. Or maybe it's Childs. Or, or maybe it's McCready. I don't know, but that's my theory. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. It can really help my channel. And please look out for more horror -thon reviews. Thanks, guys.